Warning, this video contains visuals of drugs, people smoking, and stories of addiction. Viewer discretion is advised. My life was a roller coaster, up and down, up and down. Perhaps it's more comparable to climbing mountains and valleys. I've always thought of myself as the, the pebble and the effect it has like on my immediate family and then moving out into the community. But I've never thought about me being the pebble in the pond that helps other people out. I started smoking pot and drinking when I was like 11. I did my first hit of crack when I was 12. I ended up getting a boyfriend when I was in high school. We went to Vancouver. We landed in Abbotsford, um, smoke cracked the first night we got there. Um, we were on the street within nine months. Heroin, my true love, the one thing I would do anything for, including giving up my life. When I lived out west, I did a lot of bad things, a lot of bad things. This is just my way of giving back for all the bad stuff I've done in my life. When I came back from Vancouver and I started counseling, we had no needle exchange program. The harm reduction in my eyes as an addict, I wish that it was around and I had somebody that was able to cater to me for my needs when I needed it. What are we as a community going to do? Sit back and pretend nothing's happening or do we finally come together? This is a meth neighborhood, Smith Hill, and this is what it leads to, is a burned down trailer. This whole life, it's just, it's despair and then death, if you don't get help. That's just, bottom line, that's just the way it is. I don't work, this is my job. Um, I made myself. Um, my criminal records really screwed me for, for work. I help with welfare, disability, and then I give out the harm reduction supplies. And then I just lend an ear to those that do need to talk. It's been a long journey and every day of my life is a fight. Every single day of my life is a struggle. I overdosed myself just recently, just within the last couple of weeks. I had no intentions on using when I went there, it just, it just happened. I watched what he put into that pipe and it was literally the equivalent of like two crystals of sugar and it dropped me. Um, but I felt that if I wasn't honest about it with the community, that I myself won't get better, and I'd be a real hypocrite sitting out here talking to you if I didn't tell the truth. I've taken a lot of flack for it, but I have opened my life up to being um, dissected. I'm never really that proud of myself, but I am proud of myself for being honest. I really am. Um, I took, it's not easy to write. Uh, something like that on Facebook, it's not easy. If you're not honest, you stay sick. And I don't want to live like that. I don't. I know people think it's pretty crazy that I just go and like put this stuff on Facebook, but I've written so much so far, why stop now? The last three years have been extremely difficult, but what I have learned from it is we are all warriors and will conquer anything that comes our way. Until next time, remain humble, help those in need, and spread kindness and compassion.
I'm Shauna Pinkerton, and this is my story. In 2021, Shauna created the Dryden Surrounding Community Support for Mental Health and Addiction Facebook page to help those in need. It's also the location of her Facebook blog, Hostage to the Habit, where she shares her life story about her struggle with addiction. In need of access to mental health and substance use support? Visit Wellness Together Canada at wellnesstogether.ca.